This is an incredibly original idea. Uh, yeah, I forced Blaine to listen to Dark Side of the Moon for the first time. He's never heard it. He's never heard Pink Floyd. He's never really heard anything like this by his own admission. What do no. you think? Oh, dude. It's an experience. Yeah. Like, I can't even... There's so much I know that I have to listen to it like five more times to even understand what I just heard. I mean, every song you felt something different. Every song, it just like brought you through a different experience, but somehow intertwined each experience. Okay. That's how, that's the best way I can explain it. I mean, like, I mean, do you want to start jumping into the songs here? Yeah, let's do it. So, well, it starts with Speak to Me, which is kind of uh, an instrumental, just kind of a heartbeat and that uh, ramps in to breathe. Just my experience with that one, right? You're just like getting ready. It just felt like calming and like, okay, you're like brought, you just got the heartbeat, like you're being brought into this world, like for the first time, hearing your first heartbeat. That's how I felt, at least. I think that's pretty accurate. I think that's, I think that's what they were going for. And then breathe just feels like, okay, now you're out and you're mm -hmm. like taking it all in. Like the world, your life, it's like, okay, what is this? Like you're a kid, almost, like getting ready for what life is to bring. And I think that perfectly sets up everything else. Like as soon as you start hearing the other stuff, like that makes sense to me. Yeah, because then we go into On the Run and it is like you're thrust into basically anxiety, the musical. Yeah. <laughs> that I song, mean, it felt like you're going That song it. gives me anxiety, the the rushing footsteps, the all the wah, 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 wah going around your head. It's just like it's swirling sounds and feelings. That one, it's such a visceral song, even though nothing's really being said. You can hear voices just yelling things you're just at being, you. Like, warped, yeah. Yeah. It's like you're going to outer space, you're on a roller coaster, you're things are happening around like a spiral. It's everything's just happening. One thing with this album that you take that I took for granted, I think, listening to it until we talked about it, it was like, wait a second, where did they get all these sounds? Like, you, you don't piece it together. Like, nowadays, everything's already recorded. You can create your own sounds on a computer. And you don't think about all these f weird sounds and all these... Like, even in the second song, or third song, third song, On the Run, you're going out to outer space or something, and they got these weird alien... Like, how are they doing that? <laughs> whoever this is, the singer, the person, who, whoever this is speaking to, it like, they stop and they just like visualize everything just flying by them. Like 10 years, I think they say in the song, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just, whew, they realize everything's just gone. There's so much to take in when you're listening to these songs, and I had to read it while I was listening to it, because you would never be able to, for one listen through, you'll never never be able to take it all in. So that's why like, I need to go back and just listen to the lyrics, because while I'm sitting here today, I was just listening to all the million instrumentals and just being immersed into that vibe and now i need to go back and listen to the lyrics piece by piece because yeah, it's interesting because it takes like concepts that are like known like these ideas of money and time and like everyone knows them but somehow they bring it down to a like you you don't think about it this way sometimes like, you know it's there, but this music makes you feel like it's real. I don't I don't know how to explain it. It makes you feel something. Yeah. Instead of someone coming up to you and saying, like, uh, money doesn't matter, like, it's the root of all evils, and just saying that to your face, versus them singing about the money and how, like, that's what they're doing. That song has always felt very sarcastic to me. The narrator just has such a sarcastic tone in his voice in, in my head. Because it's it's like share it, but don't take any of mine. Right. You know, I'm I'm happy to help you out, but don't take my money. Ooh, look at these fat cats with their planes. Wish I had a plane. And I bet we're saying nothing new that yeah. somebody else has already said before. We're no. very much amateurs in the I don't know. I just thought I'd share something with him that I really like. I know. This is very I much I thought he'd like it. <laughs> this is very much me just like a newborn baby, just like Ooh, what is this? Music. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so then after money is us and them. It's kind of like uh, just thinking about how you're like everyone else. Like, like you're not special. 
and and maybe it's just because we were talking about it, but this is where I started to really listen to the lyrics. I don't know if this is intentional, but we were just talking about war in the last lyrical song where it's almost like, okay, we went through this war. We're ordinary men. We went through this hell, and now we're back. We went to... And now we have brain damage. Like, like I don't know if it's purposeful, but it's almost like they gave us a, an event, and now they're telling us the result of that event. Cause and effect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, of course, Eclipse, which you could think about that song all day. And I, I love that it's saying, like, you know, all these human experiences... In the apocalypse, once the world is over, nothing matters. And, you know, all all that you've said, that person you punched in a bar, all that's going to be forgotten. So what have you actually done that's important? It kind of just, yeah, it really is the eclipse. It kind of sums up everything they just sang about perfectly, like so poetically. And I appreciate so much how it wasn't just the words that were poetic, like it meshed so well. Every single one of their songs meshed so well with lyrical and um, instrumental. Closing remarks. I mean, it's an album to listen to. <laughs> it's it's a, one of the it, albums it's of all the time. The album. Uh, it's not the album. It's definitely one of them, though. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> if you haven't listened to it, which I feel like most people probably. I I don't know. I don't know if you if you're if like watching me. Watching this video, they've probably seen it. They're probably, probably seen yelling it. at all the things we got wrong. Probably, yeah, that's okay. <laughs> um, We're wrong a lot. We're idiots. We are. I mean, specifically, but this is all about appreciating, yeah, the album. And like now, I want to go buy it. <laughs> really? <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's that's probably the highest praise you can give, right? I, yeah, I, I feel own like this music now. Oh, it's good. Yeah. I kind of want to take it myself and just listen to it. Whap. Whoop. So. With this concept of just like taking an album and just appreciating it is kind of what we're doing here. Sticker. Sticker. <laughs> uh, give us another album. Give us another album to do like that. Yeah. That like you, I'm not really into music as much as you are. I feel like I still have so much music to listen to. The classics, specifically. The classics, like specifically. especially albums all the way through. So if there's a classic album that like. I have to listen to. Let me know. Cool. Let us know. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, boy. Boy. <laughs>